Welcome to I Learned a Thing in the Bathroom from Dollar Shave Club, where we explain something very complicated in mere minutes to occupy your brain while you shave. In this edition, we'll be answering the question, why can't I live forever? As explained by someone who sounds smart because he's British. We're going to skip over the usual philosophical questions of would you or should you live forever and jump straight into the important part. Can you be immortal? The short answer, at least as far as current science is concerned, is no. Your body can't keep repairing itself indefinitely. As for why, we're going to have to take a look at your cells. You might remember from high school biology class that the cells that make up your body are constantly dividing in a process called mitosis. This is how they replace worn-out cells and keep your body alive. And they can't just keep doing that forever? Unfortunately not, and that's because of something that's known as the Hayflick limit. This is the point at which cells are no longer able to replace themselves, which happens on average after around 52 divisions. Using this as a measurement, scientists have predicted that the maximum possible human lifespan is around 125 years old. Your body just can't keep itself going beyond that. Well, that sucks. Indeed. The really annoying part is that the cells least capable of replacing themselves are in some of the most important parts of your body, like the muscles of your heart and the neurons of your brain. Your body is kind of like a classic car engine. It's a bunch of distinct parts working together, and over time, pieces will wear out that you simply can't replace. At that point, it's off to the scrapyard. But some animals can live much longer than 125 years, right? That's true. Greenland sharks are known to live to over 500 years old, which is pretty incredible. But everything has an expiration date for one reason or another. Take lobsters. You may have read the news report that called them, quote, biologically immortal, which is true to a certain extent. They don't age the way we do. They never stop growing, and they never lose the ability to reproduce. But they eventually die from exhaustion after constantly outgrowing their shells and having to claw their way out. Things just aren't designed to go on forever. What about the Simpsons? Hard as it is to believe, that too one day will die. Now, there are theories around how we could extend our lives, possibly indefinitely, but they're pretty out there. Elizabeth Parrish, for example, the CEO of biotech firm BioViva, claims to have undergone a form of radical DIY gene therapy in Colombia, designed to stop her from aging. But so far, not enough details about the experiment have been revealed for the scientific community to agree on whether it actually works. What about, uh, you know, um, vampires? They don't exist? Okay, but where did the idea of them being immortal come from? Isn't there any science behind it? Well, it's funny you should ask that. There is an experimental field called parabiosis. To put it in its most simple terms, the idea is that you would frequently replace your own blood with the blood of a much younger person, thus prolonging your life. A bit like a real-life vampire. And if that sounds insane as well as creepy, that's because it is. While there has been increased interest in parabiosis recently, it has yet to be proved successful. So, basically, I'm going to die one day, and there's nothing I can do about it. Pretty much. Well, this was a bummer. Sorry. Tune in next time for more I Learned a Thing in the Bathroom. And in the meantime, head to dollarshaveclub.com for more podcasts and a big old pile of grooming products.